good morning, it's Monday and hopefully we're going to get a full week out of this vlog. Uh, the last two, as you know, they've kind of been split and ran over the next week just with we had a baby. So, yeah, uh, hello Casey is, well, over a week year old now. Um, yeah, over a week old now. Over a week year old. Uh, over a week old, so, yeah, time has flown by. Um, but back on it now. Uh, that's one of the things, like, obviously when I life life things come up like that, something as big as that, having a baby or whatever takes up a lot of my time initially, it's obviously something that has to give. The vlog is the thing that has to give because it takes the most time. Um, I like to work by the 80-20 rule, do 20% of the work for the 80% of the outcome. So. Yeah, anytime I'm struggling for time, orders get done, the most important stuff I do on social media, it gets done. A couple of other things that I must get done as well. Um, and then other things that take up a lot of time, like the vlog or general social media gets put to the side. So yeah, uh, back on it this week though. Hopefully we've got a full week of vlogging this week and uh, get that out on Friday. So yeah, the plan today is get to the gym. I've not been to the gym for about three weeks, uh, maybe four, I'm not sure. Again, just the situation with uh, the pregnancy and stuff. Uh, there was a, you know, it was quite turbulent. So it has been for the last three or four weeks. So I've not really been at the gym because if Elaine's needed me, um, which is more important. So get back to the gym this week. Um, so heading there now, gonna be shoulders and arms day to day and see how we go. Just, I'll take it easy today. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna go back to lifting exactly what I was lifting, just because I don't wanna risk an injury or anything. So, yeah, we'll take it a bit easier today just to get the muscles moving again. And then after that, head to the lab. Um, we got orders done, there's quite a lot of orders coming over the weekend. We had that 20% off hats off our running. So that closed at midnight last night. So I need to get orders out for that. Um, the new t-shirts arrived as well. I think I mentioned that at the end of last week. The new t-shirts arrived. Uh, they are on the website now. A couple of other things I'm working on too, uh, which will kind of come to fruition over the next month. So yeah, a lot going on. A lot going on, on as always. Um, the weekend was good. It was chilled. Uh, Friday night, me and Danny went to Birmingham for the Monster Jam uh, Monster Truck Show, which was class. Danny's a big fan of Monster Jam, he watches it on the TV all the time, so when it came to Birmingham I thought I need to try and get tickets for that, so we managed it, <coughs> we managed it and uh, yeah, we went there on Friday so it was ace and then travelled back up Saturday and uh, just family time yesterday, which was really nice, so yeah, all good, nice chilled, relaxed weekend with the family and uh, back at it this week in the lab. So anyway, with that said, I'm going to go head to the gym and I will see you in a little bit, see ya. Alright, that's Monday session done. It was shoulders and arms today and like I said earlier, I never went full weight like I normally do. Uh, it's been three or four weeks so I didn't want to risk injury. So I got everything done but it was like 80% uh, of the the load that I was doing. So yeah, happy with that. I uh, got the body moving. I feel sluggish though. I feel really sluggish but I think that's just um problem with diet. It's not being on point and uh, being Easter weekend. I've been eating a lot of chocolate um, which is standard for a uh, yeah, Christmas and Easter and stuff. So, yeah, eating a lot of chocolate and I, I just felt it today. I felt like my body just felt sluggish. But then it's probably having those weeks off from training as well. So, yeah, that was the idea was get the session done but a slightly lighter weight just to ease back into it, I guess. But, but I'll be back to normal on Wednesday, I reckon. Depending on how sore my body is after this. But um, I might be going 80% on Wednesday and then back to full load on Friday. We'll see. We shall see, right, the plan now is get to the supermarket, get some food, and then head to the lab, get orders done. I was going to say ready for the posty, but it's Easter Monday, so I don't think there's any collection today. But I'll get the orders done anyway, in preparation eh, for getting picked up first thing tomorrow morning. So yeah, that is the plan. Right, off to the supermarket, and then the lab. See you in a bit.
Man, it's cold outside. Ugh, what's it saying? Five degrees. Give us some heat for a change, man. Give us some heat. That said, yesterday was alright. Weather was okay yesterday, but... Fuck me, man. More than one day would be nice. Eh, uh, it's pissing with rain. And it's cold. Good day again today. There was a lot of orders there, so they are packaged up, ready to go in the morning. Obviously, it's a bank holiday today. It's Easter Monday, and... Uh, yeah, so the, the orders are ready to go. They'll get picked up tomorrow morning. Uh, some international ones there as well. And what did I do today? Obviously the gym this morning, then orders. Then I shot some content for social media. Uh, put some of that out today. Some of it will go out tonight. Some of it will go out tomorrow. Um, working on a, a new product package for the website. It's not the, any of the new products I've been talking about. But it is a new thing I've been thinking about, and I decided to make it live. Well, I decided to set it up today, but it's not live yet. There's something I'm not quite happy with on the website, so I need to fix that somehow um, for that product, and then see so here we go. All right, I'm going to boost ahead to... Oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm confused. I'm looking at my clock going, why is that the wrong time? I forgot the clocks changed at the weekend, didn't they? So I need to change it in the van. Uh, anyway, I'm going to head home, chill with the family before bedtime and uh, back in the lab tomorrow. I've got a meeting with Billy tomorrow, going over some broadcast stuff. Um, I'm aware the broadcast hasn't really been running uh, for the last about a few months. Just, I've been busy, Billy's been busy. Um, yeah, and it's just kind of fallen by the wayside. So we're going to talk through the broadcast, see if we can come up with a plan for getting it going again. It might be that I take some episodes and Billy takes some episodes. Just do that, just to get some regular content going back out on that side of things. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have a chat about that tomorrow and a couple of other ideas we've got as well for content and videos and stuff. So I've got that meeting tomorrow. Tuesday night check-in tomorrow as well. And then got a meeting on Wednesday. And I'm actually going to the physio on Wednesday as well. Finally, about my back. Um, yeah, back issues are still playing up. So I'm going to go to the physio and see if we can get that kind of sorted. Or on the road to getting sorted. And uh, yeah, so busy week ahead. Right, I'm going to go. I will see you all on Wednesday. Catch you later. Good morning. It's Wednesday. And uh, check the neck of this beard. It's, <laughs> I've just woke up. Got the kids ready with Elaine. And uh, yeah, basically rolled out of bed, brushed my teeth, got the kids up with Elaine and uh, head out the door, heading to the gym. So, going to the gym, there's no point in doing anything with my beard. The gym is a place to go and work out, not a fashion show. So, uh, yeah, we'll just go and do, do the session. It's leg day today. So, go and do that and then go to the physio afterwards, uh, see what's going on with my back if we can, and then. I've got a meeting after that, and then in the lab, get the orders done for the postie. Uh, there's been quite a few orders come in last night, so that's good. So get them done, ready for the postie, picking them up. And then we'll do customer review of the week later on as well. So, a lot going on, a lot going on. Uh, I put a new product on the website last night as well. It's the mystery box. It's something that I had going in like, 2015, 2016. And it was around for about a year. And... I don't know, I just, I, 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 I don't know, I just, it just disappeared. So I took off the website, I can't remember why, but it was just one of those things I tried and then took it off and I totally forgot about it until recently. Some of the guys who have been following Bra for that long, they started asking, is there any chance of the mystery box coming back? So, there is. It's back on the website now. Uh, it's more valuable this time. There's more stuff in it. Um, so yeah, there's going to be basically a box that's worth at least £150. It's listed at £115. The reason I've done that is because there's a lot of discount codes out there as well. So use a discount code that you'll get it even cheaper. Um, but it's minimum value of £150. There's going to be at least three 50ml bra beard oils in there. I had an email last night, somebody saying, are people really going to pay £150 for three beard oils? Dude, read the description, it's, there are at least three beard oils in there, and the rest of the value is made up with assorted beard, pro beard products. So there could be hats, there could be beard wash, beard butter, combs, brushes, uh, unreleased things. There are things I've got in the lab from years ago that are not on the website, so... 
products. It could be unreleased products going in the mystery box. There's collaboration products that I've got that can go in the box that are not on the website. There's a lot of stuff that you can get that's not actually available elsewhere. So the mystery box is live now on the website. Either you can either just go and search it on the website or the search box, type in mystery box, or it's under the beard category in the shop. And it's on the homepage as well. Uh, so there's that. The, I've got another product in the works, one I've been talking about for a wee while. Uh, I was getting sample produced because it's one of these things that I've had to build up um, from scratch. Again, it's, it's a product that we had years ago, but it, I, I just I took it off the shelves, ended it. Um, I felt like it had been around for too long. So again, there's been kind of demand for it. So I'm bringing it back, I think. Uh, I got a sample made, but it's one of these things that it was made, like the hats. The hats are made from scratch for raw beards. They're made to my specifications. So this thing is the same. It is a lifestyle product. It's not a beard care product, it's a lifestyle product. And it's made for me from scratch. So they're having to rebuild it. And then they've made a sample. It should be with me soon. They say the sample will be sent in the next seven days, so it must be nearly finished the sample. They'll send it to me, I'll check it over, make sure everything's fine, make sure it's up to the regular uh, quality of before. And if it is, if I'm happy with it, we'll put it in production and then get it on sale. And if it does go ahead, I think I'll make it available as a pre-order on the website, um, just so people can secure theirs up front. So yeah, that's happening. Uh, that should hopefully be here what day is it Wednesday so I'm hoping it'll be here by the end of the week more likely the start of next week uh, what else what else what else we have a new oil in the works um, yeah something a little bit special so I'm hoping to have that out for the end of May uh, yeah a lot going on a lot going on a lot going on I think if there's anything. Oh, yesterday I wrote a new blog post. What the fuck is that smell? Jeez, there's a recycle. There's like a I don't know, a sewage plant or recycling works just over there. Man, that is howling this morning. That's grim. Man, you need to shut your windows over there, lads. Fucking hell, that's bad. Sorry, I, I need to close my shaker, man. That's bad. My word. I lost my train of thought now. It's just totally thrown me. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Man, that's wild. That's grim. Oh, wow. Uh, right, so, how is that legal? How is that legal? That smells like sulfur. It smells like Satan's arse. That's how I can explain that smell. It's, yeah. That's gonna be ah, that's gonna be what Satan's fart smell like, man. That is brutal. We're getting out of it now, though. We're getting out of it. I'm getting my sense of taste back. Um, yeah, right. So yesterday I wrote a new blog post on how to grow a long beard. I know I've covered this subject a few times, but the majority of the blog posts that I do are always like bite-sized chunks, so you can digest them easily, which are about three minutes, four minutes, well, one minute sometimes, worth the reading. This one I wrote yesterday is about 16 to 20 minutes worth of reading, all right? It's almost a small book. So uh, it's a really in-depth article going into a lot of things that are like um, genetics, uh, testosterone, diet, training, exercise, beard care, um, different products, different essential oils that I put in broad beard products to get the most from the products, to get the best performance. So yeah, it goes into a lot of depth. So that is on the website now, under the blog section. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Um, I'm hoping you'll find it useful. It took me pretty much the whole day to write. Um, but yeah, it's a good one, it's a good one. So that is on the website now. We've done the Tuesday night check-in last night as well. Uh, that went really well. We run that on TikTok, YouTube, and the Broadway private Facebook group. So yes, oh, go. Right, I'm gonna go just now. Thankfully I can smell normal smells again. That was, that was wild. Um, but yeah, gonna go now, head to the gym. It's leg day today, like I said. Uh, go do that, then go to the physio, then have a meeting, then go to the lab. So I'll go. Right, I will see you in a little bit. See ya.
Alright, that's leg day done. A uh, good session again actually, it was good. I wasn't lifting the usual weights that I lift, uh, like I said on Monday, just trying to bed myself back in after having three or four weeks off. Um, so yeah, other than that, all good. Uh, session was good, got everything done. Um, plan now is head to the physio. I need to go and see what we can do about my back and see if we can figure out what's kind of going on in there. And then got a meeting, like I said, uh, which is just a phone call, but get that done. And then back to the lab, get orders done, package up some mystery boxes. Uh, some of them came in last night, so yeah, get them done and then see how we go from there. So I'm gonna go head to the lab and I head, head to the physio and I will see you in a little bit. See ya. All right, just out of physio, and uh, yeah, I think it went well. Um, feel okay and confident in what I need to do. Um, it sounds like it's not disc, which is a bonus, and it's not bone, so it sounds like it's uh, very tight muscles that I've just got even tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. tighter. So I've been avoiding deadlifts and squats really because it was a squat that kind of done the damage and um, just tweaked my hips forward last year and. I've been avoiding them and the physio's saying I need to get back to doing them, obviously not as heavy, kind of like what I'm doing today, um, not as heavy but get back to lifting just to exercise the muscles because I have been avoiding them in fear of doing more damage but in, in reality I need to do them uh, to strengthen them up. So that is that's the outcome I think so far. So um, yeah, with that knowledge I am going to go, I need to get back to the lab, then I've got a meeting and get orders done and then see we go. Right, I'm gonna go. Catch you later. Alright, at the time of recording this, there's less than 10 of the Bra BMC 24 beard oils left on the website. I say less than 10 because the last time I checked, there were 9. Uh, there's not been any sales coming since, but by the time this goes out, this vlog, it'll be, I don't know, it could be any number. They might be sold out, who knows. So if you want to grab one, head over to the website now and make sure you grab a Bra BMC 24 beard oil. They're limited edition, numbered 1 to 100. Um, and yeah, once they're gone, they're gone. So head over there now, grab one if you have not got one already. Alright, so I wrote this new blog post yesterday. It is a bit of an epic. It's uh, about a 15 minute worth of reading. Uh, it's a long one, but I go into great depth in this one. Usually my blog posts are maybe three minutes, three minutes read time, a couple of minutes, something like that. But it's a big one. Uh, I spent ages on this, so we're going into understanding beard growth, the biology of the hair growth, the genetic factors versus lifestyle, um, preparation for growing a long beard, setting expectations, Essential steps, nutrition, beard care products, sleep and stress management, clean and moisturising. There's a lot there. It's a long article, um, even breaking down trimming uh, and some of the essential oils that are used in the beard, beard products. So if you want to take a look through that, it's, uh, yeah, it's a long one, but there's a lot of good information in there. So I hope you find it useful. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. That's Wednesday done. When will this rain stop, man? It is constant. It, is... it just feels like it's been raining for months. Anyway, anyway, yeah, plan now is head home, chill with the family before bedtime. Be back in tomorrow. Um, be back in tomorrow, but I'm not filming tomorrow. Just be back in doing admin stuff and a bit of content, that kind of thing. And uh, back filming on Friday. So today was a good day. Had plenty of orders there, so there we are now. Had a good meeting as well. Um, then shot some content, uh, then shot the customer review of the week, which will go out tonight, and plan some emails and stuff like that as well. So, yeah, a lot going on. Right, I'm gonna go head home, as I said, chill with the family, and I will see you all on Friday. Catch you later. Good morning, it's Friday, and the plan today is get into the gym, get chest and back done. I think that's what we're doing today, chest and back. Uh, get that done and then head back to the lab, get orders done. There's a lot there come in last night, so we'll get them in the, uh, ready for the posty and then edit this vlog, get it online, and then uh, we'll see where we go. We'll see where we go. I've got a list of stuff to work through as always. Um, the new product, one of the new products I'm working on, I got photos of it from the manufacturer. 
the sample is done and it's been sent to me so I should get it next week I thought I was going to get it this week but it's, well, it's obviously Friday now so I think it'll be next week and then we'll see how it is it looks good in the photos we'll see how it looks in person and uh, then make a, make a decision are we producing it or not we'll see we'll see um, I think we will alright I'm going to boost into the gym now get started in this on the session and I will see you in a little bit see ya Alright, that is, uh, what day is it man, I've lost track of days, Friday, that's Friday session done, <coughs> Friday session done, it was chest and back today, uh, it was good, again I was lifting like 10% lower than than usual, um, I went in kind of frustrated and, I'm not going to say angry, I never really get angry, but frustrated, just this fucking weather man, it's, it's just constant rain, like, Ah, yeah, it's just constant rain. It's like, I just, I, I want to get out and do stuff, you know what I mean? I just feel like stuck in the house constantly. But, um, so yeah, I was frustrated this morning. I went in, going and left everything and everything and everything. And, uh, yeah, the weights put me in my place as normal. So, <laughs> I was, uh, yeah, benching, but like, before the four-week break, I guess, I was benching uh, 90 kilos um, for sets of five. And I managed four reps today, so yeah, 90 kilos put me back in my place, so yeah, all good now, all good. Although the camera lens is steaming up <laughs> because of the weather. But, uh, so I look nice and moody and dreamy, I think. Um, so yeah, the plan now is get back to the lab, get orders done, get them ready for the post date, get the vlog done. I'm thinking of recording a broadcast episode as well. Wanna get, I've been speaking to Billy, we want to get the broadcast rolling again. He's in New York at the moment for Tartan Week, he's got a few gigs over there, so... Um, yeah, I might just record an episode myself and see. We'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. See how see I'm doing for time. Right, but the plan is now, get back to the lab and I will see you in a little bit. See ya. Alright, so I woke up to this wee bit of a milestone this morning, uh, over 8,000 followers on Instagram. Thank you very much for your support. If you follow Broadbeard over on Instagram, I really appreciate your support. Yeah, it was nice to wake up to that, over 8,000 followers. Thank you. So I noticed this earlier. How cool is this, right? I'm in a Marth metal band. Really, really, really good metal band. Viking metal. Anyway, who's this down here? <laughs> it's the boys John Snedden and Sean McKenzie wearing bra t-shirts on the Aman Amarth Instagram page. How cool is that? Bro. Them. Bro. Them. Cool. Alright, that's Friday done. It's been a busy week again. It's been good to get a full vlog in this week. Um, I felt a bit rusty the last couple of weeks obviously with things happening like I explained at the start of the vlog. Um, if you've made it to this point in the vlog, thank you very much for your support. I realise it's been a bit of a longer one, this one. I've had a lot to share. Got new products on the way. Uh, got the mystery box on the website now. Got the blog post written, which took me ages on Tuesday, but it's done. I um, hope you're enjoying it if you have checked it out. If not, it's in the description below. Um, done Tuesday night check-in on Tuesday. Customer review of the week of Wednesday. Several meetings. Um, yeah, and I'm thinking, I'm working on something else now. That's the way my head works. It's uh, have an idea, get it done, jump to the next idea, get it done. Then something else usually pops up as well because I feel like I'm in this creative flow, flow state they call it, flow state. So yeah, um, had another idea today, so we'll see how that goes. Um, that's going to be it. It's been good to be back in the gym this week, although my legs are hurting, like proper hurting from Wednesday. Even though I wasn't lifting the usual weight, they're definitely feeling it. So um, yeah. Is that a uh, just ordered a weight belt as well for for lifting uh, just to try and support my back a little bit more so I had a few recommendations from several people in the fitness industry and they uh, kind of narrowed down the one I'm going to go for so yeah that's ordered should be here on Monday um I think that's kind of it man I think that's kind of it like I've given updates throughout the vlog uh, that new sample should be here next week I don't know what day 
But um, I'll keep you updated. Obviously, it should arrive next week, so you should be able to see it on the vlog. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to sharing that one. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Right, I think that's it. I'm not going to waste your time anymore. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I did say I was going to try and record a broadcast episode, which I might still do. I've got a little bit of time. Um, if a broadcast episode comes out on Sunday, I managed to get it done. If it doesn't, well, there's always next week. <laughs> so we'll see. Right, thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog so far. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And share it with anyone who you think might find this a, little, a wee bit entertaining. <laughs> I try and share as much as I can. I'm not the funniest guy in the world. I'm not the most interesting guy in the world. But I try and share what I can. And uh, people seem to watch it. So I really do appreciate your support. With that said, I'm going to go. Have a good weekend. Stay safe. Look after yourself. I will see you next week for another vlog. Catch you later.